Hi, I'm B. Hi, I'm Matilda. And we're Level 3 Fashion Retail students. I'm in Year 1. I'm in Year 2. And this is our podcast. We hope you enjoy. So I think since I make like, most of my like content is based on like fashion school and so is yours, like yeah. make our vlogs. I feel like the most, I get so many questions, but the most asked one I get is about travel and like majority of people are quite scared of like traveling into London yeah. or they just have like a lot of questions about it. Yeah, no, I was, I was definitely, I was like scared about it. I was like, oh, it's like such a long journey and stuff like that. But I really, I like oh, I my journey. I love it, yeah. I really like my journey. Like I'll just listen to like my podcast or like music or something. Um, I feel like, yeah, I was so anxious about that. But honestly, it's really, it's not that bad and stuff. And like for me, like I was so scared of the tube that like, I couldn't even get the bus by myself, let alone like a tube. Like I was so scared about that. But you learn so much from it. Like right, it's, yeah. one, it will literally become second nature to you. Like it's, yeah. I yeah. really enjoy my journey. Yeah, I was the exact same. I was so like scared of traveling yeah. and. I remember thinking like, oh my god, I'm gonna need yeah. like a friend to travel with because yeah. I'm so yeah. scared. I remember yeah. like looking at the tube map and thinking like, yeah. no, like this is Absolutely so confusing. Not. No. But um, like coming to Fra now, I'm so independent. Like that's the thing I it love about Fra. So much with like it's making so, me so independent, yeah. and I can get the tube by myself. Like I know all yeah. the tubes now. Like it's yeah. so easy once you get used to it, and I think people don't realise that. Like once the more you do it, you just get so yeah. comfortable, and exactly. I love it. Exactly. So. Yeah. Yeah, I just sit there with my headphones or I just yeah. read. Like. And I feel like so many people, like even just people in my class, we all come from such different, different places. places. Yeah. Like some people, it takes them like 20 minutes to get into college. Some people, like for me, it takes like an hour and a half. Like some people, it literally takes like three hours or two hours. Like it's yeah. so, like you're, even if you like live far away, I definitely still recommend like coming and stuff. Like you'll, you'll enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. Like so many people, some people live in London and some people will live like an hour away or like my friend Ellie, she lived in Wales and it was yeah. like, it's like a four hour training yeah. and like, right, it was well, so, long, so worth it though. So, so worth, worth it though. I feel like for a lot of people, like the thing about like the cost and stuff, but honestly, like you don't have to, if you're coming here, you don't have to spend loads of, like you can do it on a budget, you know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah, definitely. Like, because I, I have my, well, when I was in year one, when I was 17, I used to have my 16, 17 saver. I'm yeah. sure you have it as yeah, well. Yeah, I have that. That was the best because it was 50% off yeah. like all trains and stuff. So that was a lifesaver. Now I have a 16 to 25, so I get 25% off, which yeah. is like, it's good. But the thing is, there's so many like food places around here as well that you can either go out and have like a nice dinner yeah. or you can literally go to Sainsbury's and get a meal yeah, deal. That, yeah. yeah, we have a or Sainsbury's. Or like even just bring yeah. your own food, like you don't have Exactly. To. I feel like the main cost is definitely travel. Yeah. But like, yeah, definitely like invest in like, like an oyster card. Or like, I get like a lot of questions about like what we actually do and stuff. So what would you say like has been your favorite project? I think my favourite projects were definitely year one. Year one projects were like amazing. Um, I really liked my first one, which was communications, but since it was my first one, it like wasn't my best piece of work. Okay. Um, but then I redone communications for my FMP, which is final major project. Um, and I done a magazine and a music video based on like David Bowie, Freddie Mercury, Elton John. So that was really fun. I really yeah. enjoyed my FMP and also visual merchandising. I done it with a collab with Vivian Westwood and Cruella Deville, like the new Cruella so cool. movie. Yeah, and I didn't yeah. like based on punk rock because it all like tied together. But yeah, the year one projects are like really, really fun. Yeah, definitely. I feel like I, I really enjoy the project as well. And yeah. I feel like people, they might think like, how much like work do we actually get? But I feel like it's such like a good amount. Like I can get like a decent amount done in the lesson. And then like, as long as you know what you're doing, like you, you can like finish it at home and stuff and like work at home with it. Like it's so, and because it's like so independent, you don't have to have a teacher like stood there, like teaching you it. Like as long as you know, like obviously we get our briefs, which are so helpful. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I feel like a lot of it is really independent, which personally I really like working independently, but also if you do need the support as well, is also there which is really yeah. good that's the thing i think like with every project you're like everyone in your class is kind of doing like it's the same project but everyone has such different ways to yeah. do it like you do different brands and different ideas so yeah. you can really like it's like so much freedom to be creative and then especially with your fmp which you'll do at the end of the year but you can literally do like whatever like it's so fun because it's down to whatever you want to do yeah i'm so excited to yeah do that. <laughs> it's so fun um 
but yeah you can do like a music video a documentary you can li it's literally down to you um, yeah. and that's what I love it's just so like creative and yeah. you can do whatever you want what advice would you give to people starting a furrow so I would definitely say um, don't underestimate your work like don't underestimate like how much you have and stuff because for me um, I would always be like, okay, I'm gonna do this much in the lesson and then I'm gonna go home and like do stuff. But I procrastinate so much after such a long day as well. Yeah. Like I'm so passionate about like my project and stuff, but I would honestly just say, just try and get it done in the lesson. And then like, you can just do like touch ups at home and stuff like that. Um, or even just, if you have any questions in the lesson, like don't be afraid to ask them. I feel like that was such a big thing starting because I, it was my first year and like people they'd already done a year so I was like they probably know so much like I I don't want to like ask questions and stuff because I know that like I might be the only one or something but honestly just ask questions like this was so new to me I'd never ever like studied fashion before ever like so I literally knew nothing so I feel like if you are starting with literally knowing nothing like you're not the only one like you'll, yeah. you'll find your way. No that's the thing I came into it as well like like in fashion but like not knowing, knowing anything, anything. Yeah. you learn so much like I didn't realize there were so many different like pathways like to go into and stuff yeah. and like especially with like tutorials if you're too scared to ask a question like in front of everyone you have like monthly tutorials oh, that's so helpful so helpful so you can helpful. just ask your teacher like one-to-one -one, which is really really good and also, yeah, I think since it's two days a week, people think like, oh, I'm only going to college two days a week. Yeah. But it's like, it is a full-time course. Yeah, so 100%. my biggest piece of advice is do the lesson in work, but also try and do it at home as well. Cause I always would just think, yeah. oh, my three days off, like, no. but it's not. Yeah. Like that's something I learned in first year is you have to keep on top of it because yeah. it's not necessarily like a big amount of work, mm -hmm. but if you fall behind, it can like load up, yeah. But it's really fun work anyway, so I feel like you enjoy it anyway. Yeah, so it just comes do naturally it to well. do it. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for listening. listening. We hope you enjoyed. If you want more episodes like this, let us know. <laughs>